PTN Radio. Hear the difference. Now the news. I'm Tian Yu. COP14, or the 14th meeting of the Conference of the Contracting Parties to the Ramsar Convention on Wetlands, has opened in central China's Wuhan and Switzerland's Geneva. Chinese President Xi Jinping delivered a speech via video link at Saturday's opening ceremony. The event will explore ways to further preserve and develop wetlands. It will run through November the 13th. Gao Yimin has more details. In his speech, President Xi called for more global efforts in conserving wetlands. Xi said COP14 was an opportunity to raise awareness, strengthen cooperation, and scale up action. He called for efforts to achieve that goal in three regards. Building a global consensus, advancing the global process to include more wetlands in nature reserves, and enhancing people's well-being globally by protecting biodiversity through protection of wetlands. President Xi hailed China's historic achievements in wetlands conservation. China has increased the area of wetlands to over 56 million hectares. The country has put in place a protection system and enacted a wetlands conservation law. China has recently drawn up a layout plan of national parks. It calls for designating about 10% of the country's land area as national parks. President Xi also said that China will promote international exchanges and cooperation to protect the four bird migration routes passing China and to build an international mangrove center in Shenzhen. Chinese President Xi Jinping and Madagascar's President Andrei Rajoelina have exchanged congratulations on the 50th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between the two countries. Xi Jinping says bilateral ties have been developing in a healthy and stable manner in the 50 years. He says the two countries recently established a comprehensive cooperative partnership and there have been fruitful exchanges and cooperation in various fields. He says he's willing to work with President Rajoelina to continuously boost ties between the two countries. Rajoelina says Madagascar will make joint efforts with China to build a closer community with a shared future. The fifth Hongqiao International Economic Forum has released the World Openness Index, which evaluates the openness levels of 129 economies from 2008 to 2020. The forum is being held as part of the annual China International Import Expo in Shanghai. Aaron Liu has more. The report published the World Openness Index for the first time since the outbreak of COVID-19. Overall, the index showed a downward trend in 2020, decreasing 0.02% and 4.1% compared with 2019 and 2008, respectively. Under the influence of uncertainty, such as the pandemic, the report points out that new industrial trends have unleashed new dividends for the world's development. From agricultural civilization to the industrial civilization and a surging digital civilization in today's world, the new generation of the digital economy will become an irreversible and truly global economy that is free from geopolitical influences. China's ranking jumped from 47th to the 39th, becoming a key variable for economic globalization. Various new aerospace products are expected to be launched at this year's China International Aviation and Aerospace Exhibition. More than 740 enterprises from 43 countries and regions are expected to participate in the Airshow China 2022. The 14th edition of the Airshow will open its doors to visitors at Zhuhai International Airshow Center from November the 8th to 13th. Enterprises listed on China's Chinext board reported growth in both profits and revenues in the first three quarters. Official data shows these companies saw their operating revenues increase about 20% year-on-year to hit 2.4 trillion yuan or more than 330 billion U.S. dollars during the period. At least two people have been killed and several others are missing after tornadoes hit the southern states of Texas, Arkansas and Oklahoma. Officials say multiple people were injured when the powerful tornadoes tore through parts of the three states. Dozens of homes and buildings have also been damaged, and thousands of households are experiencing power outages. The fifth World Laureates Forum kicked off in Shanghai on Sunday. The forum will feature 60 top scientists from around the world, including 27 Nobel Prize laureates. The forum aims to promote basic scientific research, advocate international cooperation, and support younger generations of scientists. And that's the news. I'm Tian Yu.